since this British and I'm back. I know I promised a new video the day after I made my last one, but we hit a string of thunderstorms and it just wasn't working um, in the free time that I had, so this is like a week late. But I hope that you will enjoy it nonetheless. I've decided do um, a reading of Edgar Allan Poe. We're covering him in one of my classes right now, and someone suggested, I forget who it is, I'm sorry, someone suggested that I do Anna Foley, and so I thought I've already done Aurora Lee, I might as well do Annabelle as well. As you can see, I'm having a rough hair day. I slept on it funny, and it's totally wild and frizzy, <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> now I can't stop staring at it, because <laughs> it looks so yummy. Okay, I have my brush here, I was just trying to get it to behave some, it's not really working. It's so wavy. <laughs> well, in any case, um, yeah, hold on. It's gonna bother me. It'll be better when it's... Oh well. I guess that'll do. <laughs> okay, so Edgar Allan Poe. Reading from the North Anthology of American Literature, as per usual. This poem is called Annabelle. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived whom you may know by the name of Annabelle. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child, and she was a child, in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that, long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my Annabelle. So that her highborn kinsman came and bore her away from me, to shut her up in the sepulchre. Sepulchre, I can never say that word, in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle. 
but our love was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee, and the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. So, that is Annabel Lee. Suppose I should do another because it's only been six minutes. So I'm having issues adjusting myself. In any case, next one. Why don't we do Paging through my chi essay. There's gotta be more poetry. Hmm. I'll go back this way. I know that I've gotten many a request for the raven. read that in a while and I wouldn't be totally comfortable in my reading just off the off that's the word I'm looking for on the fly here we go hmm. I will do the city and the sea that seems to be a good theme is the ocean has reared himself a throne in a strange city lying alone, far down within the dim west, where the good and the bad and the worst and the best have gone to their eternal rest. There shines and palaces, there shrines and palaces and towers, tiny and towers that tremble not, resemble nothing that is ours. Around, by lifting wings forgot, Resignedly beneath the sky, the melancholy waters lie. No ray from the holy heaven come down on that long night time of that town, but light from out the lurid sea streams up the turrets silently, gleams up the pinnacles far and free, up domes, up spires, up kingly halls, up fanes, up Babylon like walls, up shadowy long forgotten bowers of sculptured ivy and stone flowers, up many and many a marvelous shrine, whose wreathed friezes intertwine, the viol, the violet, and the vine. Designedly beneath the sky the melancholy waters lie, so blend the turrets and the shadows there, that all seem pendulous in the air, while from the proud tower in the town death looks gigantically down. There open fanes and gaping graves, young level with the luminous waves, but not the riches there that lie in each idol's diamond eye, nor the gaily jeweled dead tempt the waters from their bed. For no ripple, for no ripples curl, alas, along that wilderness of glass, no swelling tell that winds may be upon some far off happier sea. No heavings hint that winds have been on seas less hideously serene. But lo, a stir is in the air. The wave, there is a movement there, as if the towers had thrust aside and slightly sinking the dull tide, as if their tops had feebly given a void within the filmy heaven. The waves have now a redder glow, the hours are breathing faint and low, 
And when amid no earthly moans, down, down that town shall settle hence, hell rising from a thousand thrones shall do it reverence. Alright. So, that was The City in the Sea. I'm going to read, this is the last poem, I'm going to read alone, and then I think I'll be done for today. In just little ones it comes off this time. Okay, so here we go. Alone. From childhood's hour I have not been as others were. I have not seen as others saw. I could not bring my passions from a common spring. From the same source I have not taken my sorrow. I could not awaken my heart to joy at the same tone. And all I loved, I loved alone. Then, in my childhood, in the dawn of a most stormy life, was drawn from every, dri every depth of good and ill, a mystery which binds me still. From the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that rolled, that round me rolled in its autumn tint of gold. From the lightning in the sky as it passed me flying by. From the thunder and the storm and the cloud that took the form when the rest of heaven was blue of a demon in my view. Alright guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to making more soon. I graduate in May, so hopefully after that there will be plenty, plenty more, but we'll see. I'll try to do more in between, I promise. I know I've been very slow on the ground, but that's just the way things are right now. And I thank you all for watching and sending your requests in. As always, I love reading them. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys.